Many different ages makes you feel crazy, but you're not crazy. It's just a feeling. Passes. Feelings. Transient. Passing. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm Danielle. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. I'm here with Truman. He's my five year old. So he's going to be with me for a little bit if he can keep from. Being loud, he's gonna try really hard. I got a chatty one right here. <laughs> Super chatty. All right, so just a little backstory. Those of you who've been following me, I've been doing some homeschool stuff just to kind of let you know how I do it. It's really, really not sophisticated. I have seven children. I'm actively schooling four. So he is one that is going to be starting school this year. When we do basket time in the morning, it is a time of learning that we do all together all seven of my children. And sometimes it is total crazy town. So he does participate in that kind of active and fluid learning that we do with our basket time, which is Bible and recitation and it's our read aloud. What is in the bag? School. That's right. So the first thing we just started, dun, 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 is 100 easy lessons. I've used this with all of my children, except for my second child who learned in a completely different way and I, I really, I flew by the seat of my pants teaching him to read. And it was, I basically developed my own curriculum, which probably would never work for another child. But that's the beauty of homeschooling. We are just in the very beginning of this. We're actually on lesson mm -hmm. nine. Mm -hmm. mm, exactly, so he's learning his sounds. If you've never done this, I do like it. Good am. And Very good. But then at the end of this very short lesson, there is a tiny portion for writing a letter. So then we go to the school bag. And I have his little writing tablet. This is essentially all that's in his school bag. Like I said, it's not sophisticated and it's not a lot. So he takes out his pencil and today he just wrote the t sound, which is what he's what he learned today. And then we are practicing writing his name. That's it. Alright, very good. Good. Very good. When I go like this, my food goes. All right. Go to the restroom and shut the door. Don't want everyone to hear you tinkle. Yeah, shut the door. What does that mean? P. Shut the door. Still, so, the door's not shut. Tinkling. The other thing I do with my five-year-old, the only other thing I do, is the hundred board or the hundred chart. I just looked all over to find a hundred chart and I couldn't find one, so. I have like half a dozen. I have probably a dozen. All right, give me one. So I'm gonna blow your mind right now. So all we are doing is we are learning to count to 20 and then we are learning to count backwards from 20. That is what I do to help prepare them for easy addition. Okay. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Nine, eight, seven, six, six, five, five four, three, two, one. This 
is good for all my children. It's called five in a row. I really love this. I've been doing this since my daughter was little and, and, I, and I don't, I don't do all the curriculum. It's one book and it has, I'm just going to turn to the chapter. One chapter is called the rag coat. So I have the book, the rag coat, and then it has a bunch of recommended studies or recommended uh, talking points. I, I typically don't do this. Oftentimes I will keep these together and you read the book for a week. So every day you just read the book once through. And then you can mention something like, this book was in the Appalachian Mountains. Let's go look on the map and see where that is. And that's it. That's the end of your study. And then the next day you could say, okay, we read, we read it. Now let's talk about language. You do it for a whole week or five days. You read the same book. It is amazing how the children love to read the same book every day. It's not an old coat. It's a new coat. But it's just a bunch of rags, said Lottie. It's not just a bunch of old rags. I said, my coat is full of stories. Stories about everybody here. They all looked at me real puzzled. Don't you see? These are all your rags. He looked at the old rag like he wanted to touch it. Then the others began discovering their old favorite things and crowded around me. They each wanted their story. I wouldn't blame you if you didn't let us touch it, Lottie said. I wouldn't blame you if you didn't want to be our friend at all, said Clyde. Friends share, I said, and I let them each touch their rag. Then I showed them the feed sack inside my coat and told them how it made me feel my papa's arms again. Shane put his arm on my shoulder and said, Mina, I bet you got the warmest coat in school. Well, it took a whole lot of people to make it warm, I told him, and we all laughed. I cry. <laughs> because it makes me cry. It's, uh, it's a real weeper. <laughs> yeah, it's really sad, though, it Papa. Sad. Yeah, it's true. All right, so that is essentially what I do with my five-year-old. He's just participating in everything, and these are the couple few things we do together, just the two of us. And we just try and squeeze it in, usually in the afternoon. Right now the baby's sleeping, so this is when we squeezed it in. Squeeze, squoze. <laughs> you have to look me. <laughs>like and subscribe and hit that notification button so that you will be apprised of each additional video I do. I just want to inspire and encourage you in your homeschooling journey and in your momming. No one can mom your kids like you can. I'll see you next time.